you, before you do anything, do not skip this ad. Do not skip this ad. What is the difference between you and me? You are not successful. You are not happy. You live in your mom's basement, you eat macaroni and cheese every night. Me? I'm successful. I'm happy. I eat great steaks every night. Now how can you become me and have a life that doesn't suck like yours and is awesome like mine? I can tell you in three easy steps. I've been through a lot in my life. I started lots of businesses and a lot of them have failed. For instance, right here, I started a mobile spray foam business. It was going great, but we stopped at the grocery store to get some food, and then my wife wanted to go shopping for perfume, and I told her it's 100 degrees outside. We need to get back out there. If those tanks get to 120 degrees, they'll explode. And guess what happened? She smelled perfume for like 20 minutes, and this happened. I told her, failed business. That's okay, though. I know how to adapt. I know how to grow. I put this in the past, I have moved on, I have a new business, and it's wildly successful. I created a business that will help people in situations like this, a tow truck business. That's the first time Raid Shadow Legends sponsored me. They've been sponsoring me for a while. This was in 2019. And 2019 Matt was way different than 2021 Matt. For one, 2019 Matt had no idea that in 2020 I was gonna decide to dirty bulk and gain like 30 pounds. So a lot's changed. I'm considerably bigger now. And also now we have special effects on the channel. Awesome champions, check. Tough bosses, check. Millions of players, check. Years of content, regular updates, check and check. Use my links in the description to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or your PC. Just checking out some of the champions. This guy, Kale, has some pretty awesome abilities and his attack is super strong. Always attack isn't very good, but he has some ability to make up for it. Last month, Raid just released their biggest ever update. The main event here is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. We've been waiting for this for a long time and I just can't wait to dive in. There's really never been a better time to start playing and here's the best part. The Raid team are giving away a bunch of new free goodies plus a super special champion to help get everyone started in the tower, Bulwark. He's absolutely awesome in clan boss and he's also going to be a huge help in the tower against those bosses. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition. If you're quick enough you can even join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and if you're a new player you'll get your free void champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. Rewards are only available for the next 30 days and are only for new players. All these rewards will be waiting for you here. Good luck and I'll see you there. Oh hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm uh, chilling in my office. Have a gander. So actually uh, we decided instead of airbags we would just fill the whole thing with spray foam. It was a lot of work. It's totally solid spray foam in the entire car except for the driver's seat because we thought we could drive it around. Then we ran into a tree and actually now it, it won't start. Listen. Oh, the battery's also dead. It won't, it won't do anything. It literally won't do anything, so I guess we just shoot it now. Let me show this thing to you. This actually was one of our best running vehicles up until lately. Um, so that's why we kept adding on. Like when we knocked this window out, we built a little armored door over it. And then like every window that would get busted out, we'd put like some plywood over it and we'd spray it from around the edges to keep the uh, you know rain from going in it and making it moldy inside. And it just kind of kept deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating until we ended up just filling the whole thing up with spray foam. Literally from here to the other side, from here to the other side, well besides there, that's a foam deer heart. Still foam, so it counts. It's one of those like archery targets. Uh, there's. I think the whole, the whole deer might be in there actually. So all foam, all foam. Here's another deer lung over here, completely full of foam. Those are foam cans, so that still counts. This, don't worry about that. All foam. And the reason we wanted to do this because I wanted to know how bulletproof it was, but I don't think it's gonna be that bulletproof. So we decided to fill the whole car up with it to see if we can pass bullets straight from one side to the other. There is no armor in the car, there's no metal, besides those couple cans, we'll shoot around those, and we wanna see if bullets pass straight through the foam, so we will finally know if foam 
is bulletproof. I feel like someone's gonna say there's no way that is full of spray foam. There's no way Matt took all like 700 spray foam cans and fill it up. I did, look. That's a deer's head. So there's a couple other foam things in there that aren't spray foam. Hold on, let me. Yeet! Did I miss? <laughs> yeah, yeet! I only thought that would do more damage, but. Anyway, as you can see, it's all spray foam. So we're gonna shoot it. As you can see, all spray foam. I'm gonna put this paper over it though, so we can see if bullets come through, because I don't know that we're gonna be able to see very well. Wow, this is not real duct tape, fake duct tape. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the bullets if they went out of the spray foam. So this will make it much easier to tell if they pass all the way through. 22 long rifle against the spray foam expedition. Entry's right there. Teeny tiny little thing. There's not a whole mannequin in here. It's just the face. So there's nothing there. No pass through, no pass through. Now a nine millimeter out of the CMMG. AR, here we go. Pretty sure I saw dirt move on the other side of the car. Nine millimeter entry right there. And what do we got? Oh, whoa, yeah. Spray foam does not stuff a bullet. Not one bit. All right, we have a longer target though. We can shoot this way through the car. So it's probably twice as much spray foam. We'll try that. If we spray foam this whole thing and won't even stop a nine millimeter. <clears throat> Before we go long ways, I'm gonna try just the back. See if it went through that as well. Wow, it put two bullets through there. <laughs> Here's where it came out. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's new. There's a piece of metal in that deer lung. All right, our foam deer lung and spray foam car does not stop a bullet. Let's shoot this way now. Okay, same gun. We are going through a windshield. So that kind of changes things. And I gotta get over that hood. Dang it. Who parked this here? That's a little better. Okay, here we go. Perfect shot. Should have gone pretty straight through. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> yep. That's your problem right there. Bullet came straight through that hole. And a bunch of pieces though, which is crazy. Because normally a nine millimeter, as you guys probably know, makes a tiny little hole. That made a giant hole. But either way, nine millimeter went through the entire car full of spray foam. What about shotgun? 12 gauge bird shot. Not good at pin training. 12 gauge Keltec. Shooting bird shot at a windshield at real close. Bad idea. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <laughs> Nothing. Totally bulletproof against a 12 gauge bird shot. If someone's shooting at you with that and you've got nine feet of foam in your car, you're good to go, man. You're good to go. We decided to try the side of the car to see if it makes it through. Also, there's some spray paint in the way. Not anymore. Place your votes in the comments below. Do you think it went through or not? So this is all the birdshot coming into that can. <laughs> all over the fingers. Also got him in the face. Well, there's spray foam in his face. It was meant to be. He was meant to be a part of this car forever. Let's see what happened back here. There's blue spray paint that came over the car, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah, crazy. Nothing came through though. Tough stuff, that is some tough stuff. We're gonna try 45 ACP because it goes slower and has more surface area on the front. So maybe it won't go through like the nine did. We'll try it. Desert Eagle 45 ACP. Yeah, that for sure went through. I mean, that had the power of America behind it. America's doing really great. It's really strong right now. 
Yep. Nothing stops America except itself. Ford 5 ACP again through a windshield this time and like eight feet of foam. Yes. We did it. We flipping did it, boys. We stopped a bullet with spray foam. I'm happy about that. I like that. But there's one more thing I want to try. This is a 50 BMG. I made a hole. I'm gonna stick my gun in the hole. Yeah, that ought to work. All right, so now we just need to load it and we're gonna pull it with a string and see what happens when you fire a 50 BMG with the end of the barrel completely stuck in solid car full of foam. Just for you, Demolisha. Shooting a 50 BMG that's submerged into a car full of styrofoam is not super safe. So YouTube, I want you to know I took the proper safety precautions in this, so keep this video monetized, please. We have not one, but two 10 foot long pieces of duct tape holding this thing on. So it's super secure. And some people are like, Matt, how do you know so much about doing these scientific tests? Well, I took science class one time and I, this is what they taught me. That was pretty much, that was pretty much what Texas science is. It's all about how to strap guns down. So, got that? We're gonna go ahead and cock it and go back here, pull this string. I made it neon so I know which one to pull. I think I'm gonna do it with my ears open so I can hear it. I just wanna hear it. Like, it's either gonna be super crazy and throw stuff everywhere or it's gonna be super boring and just go poof. I think it's gonna be boring and just make a little poof noise. Firing. I'm gonna pull harder. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, the safety was on. <laughs> I'm so safe. See, YouTube, no need to demonetize. Not loud. I mean, it was loud, but not loud. And it's, it definitely went through. Is it, is it smoking? If this thing lights on fire, we have zero way to put it out because we don't have a fire truck. Sweet. How cool is that? I was hoping we'd like be able to see straight through. Let's see if it went through the car, guys. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, turns out it does not stop a 50 BMG. It does muffle it though. That was as quiet as a 22, I would say. So what did we learn here today? We learned spray foam, not bulletproof. We also learned don't leave all your spray foam canisters in your car if it's gonna get to 120 degrees on the inside. Cause otherwise, the rest of this video, total waste of your time. Thanks for watching this episode of Demos Rush. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. Oh, you're still here at the end of the video? Well, we'll do something special for you then. Ugh. I'm gonna shoot that thing with an AR. Just see what happens. It's probably gonna shoot paint right back at me. Until the very end of the video for that? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>